They made the Poor Man Taters, Fat Man, and Big Mama is the name of the YouTube page. And these actually turned out pretty good. I ate a potato. There's ham in here. It turned out really good. And I accidentally ended up wasting my cauliflower. I, I guess I might have grabbed bags that were too ripe and about to go bad because I was going to cook the fritters and apparently the cauliflower went bad way too fast. So next time I need to check the bags a little better, I think. I don't know if you could do that recipe with frozen cauliflower or not. I think it calls for fresh though, so... I'll probably do that recipe next month, or maybe later on this month, whichever it is. But otherwise, at least the poor man taters turned out good. So this one's definitely a go. Well, I ended up having to take my small butternut squash and have it took a cup and a half, because that's going to be my next a part of my next month food haul. I've, one of my meals, I already went up here. I got my, my uh, Thanksgiving ones up here, the... Turkey one's going to be different. I had to make room for my turkey, so I ended up canceling a bunch of recipes. So I'm chopping the rest of this up, putting it in another freezer bag. This one's going to be separate because apparently I'm supposed to get a butternut squash with a longer neck, and I didn't do that. So I'm going to do that so I can make my butternut squash fries. 6th of November, and I have it on the 20th right here because right here is when Thanksgiving turkey is going to get thawed. It takes three days because one time I only thawed this thing for one day. The outside was kind of thawed, but the inside was frozen. It took seven hours to make. That was a nightmare. Plus I had four sinks of dishes, so I like to space it out because it's just me and the dog. I'm going to make pumpkin ice cream. I had a paleo one before. I'm a low-carb version. I'm going to make a, a bread to make a stuffing. And honestly, I'm just going to... This day I'll be able to make these three. I'll be able to do the buttered carrots, the potatoes, and the crock pot. And bake the turkey because the turkey takes a lot of work. Now on the meal plan, some repeats. I'm, I put some of the some of the recipes I couldn't cook, like I was mentioning. I guess earlier when I was cutting my squash or whatever. But that's okay. You can as long as you cook and don't waste the food. I try not to waste food. I'm gonna still do the butternut squash fries. I got the rest. I got the ingredients for the for the ones with the dots. So I'm doing the gar yeah i can speak english ground beef and potatoes that's the one other one i didn't get to do i'm gonna do crock pot paleo chicken and gravy and i'm gonna be doing this marry me chicken i just hope the chicken doesn't take out a wedding ring because he's just gonna get eaten anyways <laughs> i'm gonna make a cheesy potatoes i've had multiple versions of cheesy potatoes for the crock pot i'm having another version i'm gonna be making enchiladas that's made with beef and the air fryer ones, I'm going to try and stock up on recipes for air fryers because I don't seem to have that many in my air fryer. I don't cook in it that much, so maybe it won't break or nothing. <laughs> I'm going to have best pork chops. I'm going to have onion rings. I'm going to have paleo broccoli soup with bacon. I'm going to have uh, honey, or yeah, if I can speak English, butter, butternut squash, mac and cheese. I already have the butternut squash, thank God for that. <laughs> I'm going to have paleo roasted. Sweet potatoes, never tried those. I'm going to have low-carb chicken patties. Now these ones, I never heard of these cottage cheese ones, but they're off TikTok or wherever people claim they're good. There's a taco bowl one and a cottage cheese. And if I said cream cheese, I meant cottage cheese, if, just in case I had a typo there. But anyways, that's okay. And I'm going to do a pizza bowl, but I'm doing mine with sausage. Like I said, it tasted like uh, lasagna, and I don't like lasagna. <laughs> The GDP is Great Depression Meals. I just abbreviate it. I'm going to have creamed tuna on toast. I'm going to have Sam's Favorite Green Beans. Those are some recipes from the cookbook. I'm choosing one or two recipes a month trying to do that. For the Thanksgiving, i got the pumpkin ice cream. It's a low-carb version. And then I'm going to do the low-carb cream cheese bread. It's going to go with the stuffing. And the butter carrots and the turkey will basically be easy to cook. And then the crock pot garlicky mashed potatoes. I thought that would be a perfect recipe this way. The crock pot will take care of most of the work. I just got to chop up everything. I pre-chop. What I like to do on Thanksgiving is I will pre-chop. Like, I'll pre-chop the, the vegetables for stuffing and stuff the day before. So then the next day, it's kind of like a walking breeze. You just take the container and dump it in when the recipe tells you to. That's a good idea to do on Thanksgiving. Then this way, you don't end up with mountains loaded of dishes. I mean, you're sure you're going to have dishes every day, but you won't have, like, four sinks worth. Now, I have, my biggest problem with the turkey, though, is because I get sick of eating, you know, you get sick of eating things, even if you try to freeze it, I still get sick of it. My neighbor, Tiki, she makes a turkey soup, I don't even know, I'll have to get that recipe from her one day. And I got this uh, folder, it's for um, the leftover recipes, because I sometimes forget and accidentally waste food, and I don't try to. Anyways, I got columns in here, like, I got the turkey one here, so, and I got stuff like that. I got like different foods and everything in here, so I'm gonna put in here. I gotta 
stock it up and try to find the ones I have in here. Anyways, the ones I have, if I can find them, <laughs> if they're in, oh, there they are. Okay. It took a while to find that one. I forgot what the turkey one was before that one. And these are on a website called All Recipes. And there is, there you got other other recipes with this, but there was ones I didn't like the looks of. And if I don't like the looks of them, or if I can't have it because of certain ingredients, I can't replace with something else, blah, blah, blah. I will move on with the next one. There is turkey patties, so you could take, make turkey patties with leftover turkey. You make a salad. The salad actually doesn't look bad. I, 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 mean, I don't hate salads. I have to make the salad and try it. If otherwise, I won't eat it. But otherwise, that's just me. I got turkey pot pie. And then there's Thanksgiving pizza, which is funny. You use the gravy to make the pizza. I never thought of doing that. It's pretty cool. I'm going to try that. And there's dinner bombs. So I think that's... I don't remember if this is the last one or not. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, these three are the last ones on this one. We got Thanksgiving, but that stops glaring, casserole, turkey, nachos, and broccoli fried rice. Is an, or, is this one with the turkey too, I think? That's with chicken, it's in the wrong one. Hey, that's okay. I thought that was one of the turkey ones I got in the wrong column, that's alright. Anyways, besides that, for my uh, brand club, I actually got $6.97 because I bought four bags of flour. I've never tried this flour before. It's supposed to help you with baked goods and stuff. So like, instead of using all-purpose flour, it's the Bob's one-to-one. -one, and I've never tried this flour, but I'm going to see if it does good on the bread. Because every time I make bread, in the center, it's so moist and wet and it doesn't cook right. And people say it's probably think, oh, you didn't need it. The recipe didn't say to need it. It said do this, this, and that. And this is probably going to help it better. So I'm going to try this flour out with that and some baked goods. I know you can make like muffins and stuff out of it. I don't care about those. I just want to see if this will work with flour for the making the bread. This I got $6.97 back from Brand Club. So I'll come back with my food haul when my food shopping is done through the day. It's really dark outside. Yeah, so yeah, you know that time, the time where you wish spring comes early. <laughs> well, I was going to buy two stevias. This is my... Uh... Super One food haul. I ended up buying Circulose. I don't know if that's a good sugar for you or not, but the Stevia is usually what I stick to, but I got stuck buying that because they only had one bag of Stevia, so I don't think that's going to kill me. It's not that I'm going to swallow the whole bag in one shot. I had to get two little potatoes because I needed three pounds, and that's like one and a half per bag. One, of, I got the organic maple syrup because it was on sale. I got whatever I could on sale. I got the chicken breasts and everything. I got two of these. I just bought two to be on the safe side. I still got chicken breast. I got the cod fillets the camera wants to work anymore and they're loins but fillets whatever you want to call them and i got some pork chops for a recipe i'm not buying grass-fed meat anymore this was the cheapest beef i went from the app to see how much per pound in walmart it would cost it would cost like 50 bucks or so so i got like 40 bucks worth of meat and i got eight pounds so that was cheaper because I can't buy grass-fed, and people, some people say you ha you should buy grass-fed. Well, you try to afford it. It's about 6 to 7 flipping $8. It's not worth it. And also, I got two avocados, because my other two went bad. I have heavy cream. I still have one in my fridge, but I'm getting a backup because I'm going to be cooking with that. I got two big eggs, you can see. I got a watermelon for Rosie instead of a cantaloupe, because I don't know if that's giving her urinary tract infection. She's having bathroom accidents, so... Sad to say, she's going to be going down in spring. I'm going to have to get a new dog before her. I'm not waiting for a dog because I don't like being without a dog. So I'm going to have to get one, sadly. I don't really want to replace her. I have, like, I bought five Crystal Farm cheeses. I got the block ones. And the, only two of these would last for an Ibota, whether they're shredded or blocked. I put these ones over here because these ones aren't going to count because it only counts two of them. So I put the block ones in the Ibota area. I got grapes and I got green beans. I got two pounds of carrots. I gotta have stuff for Thanksgiving. Indian summer juice. That's one of my favorite ones. I got some bread and butter chips because those are my favorite. An olive oil spray because you can always use more. I got six sweet potatoes. I'm going to share some sweet potatoes with Rosie. I got basil. I got one at, uh, at the dollar store. But I'm not shooting what I got over there. I just got two bags of brown rice at the Dollar Tree store. And I got a basil. They only had one. So I had to buy one from the nose store. They didn't have sage. So I had to get it from Super One. That was next door to it. And I got... New yeah, vanilla, if I could speak English. I got one thing of raisins. I got some Parmesan cheese. That's what I want to do with the fillets. Have that Parmesan cheese. It was really good on there. And I got two 
boxes of stuffing. I am not cooking this for Thanksgiving. I still have a box left. I'm just like stocking it, putting on side um, to have for when I cook crock pot meals. I call for it. I got a zero sugar sugar um, ketchup. Even though that sugar right there, I've never had. They say a lot of sugars are bad for you. I think it's if you swallow the bag. That's just me. The Ibota items, besides the two Crystal Farms, I got block cheese. I got ended up getting Cheddar Jack. But otherwise, they called for for a Kemp's 22 ounce. They didn't say you couldn't get the low fat. That's going to go with those cottage cheese recipes. The Cracker Barrel cheese counted because it, I had to get... The dumbest thing I think they're doing this time is they have you do 16 items before you have to buy 16 iboda items in order to unlock the turkey and the specials and or the sides or whatever i can only get some of the sides i'm not gonna get every single side i don't know if the stuffing counts on that one we have to unlock the turkey first so i don't know if i made the cut or not i'll mention in the walmart video if i did or not i got some new sea yogurt i don't think i ever had that one i don't know if i ever had these protein bars i looked on the side they were gluten free i think i had this one though the sides for the, I got the sides ahead of time. They they let you get the turkey or the sides from any store that's not just Walmart. Walmart had the cheapest turkey and the ones that were medium size for me. I was trying to find a medium size. Let's kind of chop them up and stuff. But I don't know if I got the turkey sides unlocked. That's not going to be unlocked until the 16 things, but I'm not going to know until the Walmart haul. So until then, yeah. I have bought them regardless, so I don't usually eat cranberry sauce. But if it's called in a recipe, at least I got it off the board. I plan on taking my turkey and bones and baking, making a stock out of it, like out of the depression recipes, and making a gravy out of it so I can make those Thanksgiving leftover recipes. I'm going to measure them per cup in a sandwich bag, and then I'll put them, I'm going to mark them with a marker and scotch tape just so I know how much is in each one, so then when I make leftover things with the chopped turkey that I'm going to freeze that's leftover from whatever I eat on Thanksgiving, that'll be easy then. Easy, then I just have to thaw it, cook it, and... The recipes, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but I won't know un unless I got the sides because I got the turkey and everything, but I think I got all enough items to unlock it, so hopefully otherwise going out to shop tomorrow, and that's not what I plan on doing because I spent like 232 something at this store. The other store I spent around, Walmart, I spent around 300 and I think it was 328 or something, and I'm glad I didn't go over. I went through most of my money in my wallet. Not on my bank or anything, but I was hoping not to go way overboard because these items are a lot of money. I'm tr I don't normally buy much items unless it's the Ibota Thanksgiving thing. I do think they should just have it where you buy four items to unlock the turkey thing because making people buy things they don't need or something. But some of these things I can use. I can eat these as snacks even though I make my own granola. So got to deal with it for the Thanksgiving thing. I'll be back with my Walmart. Yeah, I counted the, I think I got the, thing, the app thing right. I got about 17 items minusing the ones that are the turkey stuff but it's not going to unlock until the super one one unlocks they're pending on the walmart one hopefully the super one counts it better count or i'm gonna have to go to the dollar store and i don't want to waste any more money than i have to but otherwise because you get 14 bucks for the turkey and blah 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 and i'm trying to beat that one but anyways um i got until the 23rd to unlock that if i have to rescan these slips if i have to i'm gonna make sure i do it before which is not too late but anyways, I got four pumpkins. I'm going to share one with Rosie. Rosie, I shared that I gave her that for a snack with some cottage cheese once in a while. Because she deserves something. I got four of each of her cans of green beans. And I got carrots, peas, and beans, like always. I got two bacon. I got three almond milk. I still have three in my fridge, but I want my backup ones. I got one sour cream because I got two in the fridge and one that's open. So they're in the emergency one. I got two butter. And of course I got turkey for Rosie. I stir in a little beef with the turkey. I think she can tolerate it. I can't fight all her allergies for her. I do my best. I got three cauliflowers for making the veggie dishes. I'm back into that because apparently I wasn't losing weight. I guess eating too much of those chocolate chip. And they're not really bad for you chocolate chip banana pancakes. They weren't bad. I don't know if they had too much fat in them. So I'm just going back to the veggie dishes with the rice and the meat and all that stuff with the sausage cheese you can put whatever sausage you want in there i make my own homemade i got two raspberries and i'm gonna throw these in freezer ziploc bags to make some room in my freezer because my freezer is still stuffed and i got two blackberries that's why i put things in quart bags and this one's probably gonna go in a big bag i needed five cups so i just bought a big thing of back 
Um, this is probably a brand club item. The ones that are like, oh, this one's an Italian, before I forget to say this. This one's actually the Italian sausage. I would make it my home, a homemade myself, but I prefer to just buy one. This is for one of the recipes on my meal plan. This one's going to count for brand club. I think this one might. Some of the brands don't count for brand club. The Walmart brand ain't, obviously. I got two all-purpose flours. I always use my all-purpose flours and recipes. I got four chocolate chips. I try to eat a little hand of those a day just to, for my, um, for my, in case I have any stress hormones from work or whatever. I get stressed because people are lazy at work. It makes me mad. The people that are supposed to teach them at work are even worse. I'm sorry to say it. They don't just smoke and visit. That's all they do. Most of all, they just tell you what to do and play on their phones. so lazy. It's horrible. Anyways, I got cashew butter and I got banana pepper rings. Now the Iboda items are going to be the cauliflower, the Velveeta, and you had to buy two cans of Rotel. The box here got wet. I had to scan this so it got wet, but I was able to scan it. And the Purex packets, I prefer to just buy those. This thing was 18 bucks. Somebody says, oh, it's not a good working product, but I'll get 10 bucks back, so I just splurged a little bit. Of course, the female pads, uh, it's at any size, so, and this. And of course, the Crunchmaster crackers. We're also an Ibo dime. And the other Thanksgiving items, I gotta wait for them to be unlocked. Apparently, I gotta wait for Ibo to do its thing. Hopefully, it doesn't take forever. I got the buttery potatoes. Hopefully, I got the right size. I got the biggest one they had. The eight ounce was the one. And the turkey, of course, was the other thing. It didn't say what how much money you had to spend on the turkey. You get 14 bucks back, so it's fifteen seventy four. So I spent a little extra money. I wanted a medium turkey, like I said, so I don't waste it. And I'm gonna chop it and blah 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 and all that jazz. What I'm to do. The, the uh, fetch items are the Dove body wash. This one's my favorite one. It's got a good scent to it. The blue fig one makes me relax when I get stressed from work anyways. But And I got Dove, the shampoo. Drop my watch. <laughs> and of course the Maryfield app item is the Bob's Red Meal. And I'm sure that's a brand club item too. So whenever my totals come in, I'm going to probably have to rescan my receipt for the app items. I'm going to keep the receipts next to those Thanksgiving items because I don't want them to get destroyed or anything. I'm not throwing them out until the Thanksgiving stuff gets scanned, but you got to wait for it to be unlocked in order to scan it and all that jazz. So kind of bullying in my opinion, but yeah. I hope you like the haul minus the complaining. Sometimes I complain about Ibotas because I think they shouldn't make you buy things you don't need. Like they should put like healthier foods on. Cheaper foods like Walmart brand, kind of like these. These Walmart brands are a little cheaper. They should do that. They used to have the batteries on for their app item, but this one's a brand club item. And I need these for my insulin pump because my insulin pump here takes one of these batteries. And yeah, that's what I use it for. So I wish they would just put the Walmart app and say any item you can get for 10 bucks. Like for instance, like let's say this costed 15 bucks. They should give you at least 10 bucks back for it. You know, give you more bang for your buck. So I'm not sure any other apps I'm not mentioning. I know that Receipt Hog will take this, Fetch will take it. I don't know if there's any more Fetch items there, I'm, but I, I'm doing my best, but I'm not going to overspend usually every month. This is an excuse for the Thanksgiving turkey thing. I think I got it unlocked. I counted 17 items I had. I had a previous item that's not in the haul. I can quickly show that. I bought it in town at Holiday Gas Station. I bought like uh, one of these waters. It's a one millimeter. This is actually off the, off in town. So this one was the first one I unlocked. But yeah, like I said, they should have cheaper things on Ibota that would be worth more money. Cause I, I don't think it's fair. You had to waste so much money to get a little pay. That's just my opinion. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Have a it is the 9th of November, and apparently I needed one more Ibota item in order to qualify for the turkey. So I had to go to Holiday, and I decided to get a water because. I don't want to spend way too much. I spent like $2.30 on here, so I know this would qualify to unlock the turkey. So I could rescan my Walmart slip and get, because I bought the turkey from Walmart and I bought the potatoes from Walmart. So I'm going to get that one and then I'll get um, the gravy and the cranberries were from Wood for OK to get from Super One. So I got everything as cheaply as possible. I'll post how much I got. I couldn't get the Jiffy Mix because it was gluten. I didn't want to waste money on that even though it was worth money. But I just got the ones and I'll put down the total I got for the side items. Each one and I'll put that on the bottom of my food haul.